Hey guys, welcome back to King's Outdoor Life. Today we're doing a little suburban dove hunting. Uh, you, uh, I've heard of like uh, bow hunting in people's backyards. Well, we're uh, dove hunting in our backyard. So if you can see over my shoulder, this is our neighborhood right here. And right down here on the ground, there's a little patch in this pasture here. There's a little watering hole. And these doves love to come and sit in this watering hole. So we got our decoys, one mojo. My mojo died. So I got a couple of flock of flickers there. But the dove loved to come and sit in the top of that dead tree right there. There were three here when we got here. And there's still some over here. I can hear them. So they'll come drifting back in here in a minute. It's only uh, like 5.30. And they like to come in here at last, uh, you know, 30 minutes of the hour of daylight. So anyway, we can only shoot this direction, obviously. Got my two kids. I don't know if you can see them there in the shade or not but anyway they're there and we're looking for birds to come in so hopefully we'll get some good footage thanks for watching share this with a friend so just a couple minutes after getting set up one lit in the tree where they usually light and i told my kids look right there shoot that one they couldn't find it about the time it flew shot under it that time got my good lead that time and killed it i gotta get better at falling it all the way to the ground though You don't see it moving around? Top, the right half of that tree, very top limb. Huh? Well, just put the beads on it. Just once. That's all it'll take. If you look closely here you'll see Kaylee's shot went over the top of it. I try to shoot here and my safety is on so I have to take it back down and get the safety on fire and I shoot behind it there. I have to let it clear past this big hickory tree that's right in front of us waiting for it to come out the back side and I take a long shot and I don't know too far away to tell exactly how I missed that one. No, you didn't get him. So, do you know, you know there's two beads, right, on your gun. You see, understand there's two beads on your gun. There, and where's the other one? Oh, this one doesn't have a second bead, my bad. So, there's, you just got to put this. You got to look, go ahead and aim right now at the top of that tree. No, I said... Just aim at the hey, top of that tree. She is. I did. Thank you, babe. So, oh, really hurt my shoulder. So you're looking down that barrel where all this is one straight line, exactly. the end of that bead. All right. So put the, all of it down one line at the top of that tree, and then you put that on the bird, and when you pull the trigger, it'll go boom. That's what I thought I did. I guess I moved. I guess. It kicked. Really yeah. <laughs> all right. Next time you'll get it again. We'll get another chance. Uh, I couldn't see you. I was, I was, I was had my both cameras pointed at the top of that tree to try to get the footage of it for your first dove kill on camera. Okay. Ah. You feathered him. He may die. Watch him sitting in that tree. Did you see? No, you need to sit there and let him die. So this first shot here, Kaylee shoots this bird and you can see the feathers come out and then I shoot as it's going away and I, I after watching it over and over I can't tell how I missed unless it was just out to the right which would have been a little bit too far ahead of it so I'm loving the shot cam though well, I may have hit it too but usually they just die I don't know how I'm missing I'll review the shot cam footage later All right, so that's three that lit in that same tree. Is that popular tree? I think they see your dove and your Well, that's where they always sit. Okay. <laughs> what? That's stupid. Did you see it? I did. <laughs> you never 
have like a bird. <laughs> <laughs> well, you hit all the limbs around it. That's what I don't understand. There's feathers. Look, the feathers falling out to the left. I just don't know why they're not dying. Well, he may die down there. Good girl. Good girl. That's what you do. You see it until I send you. Huh? You didn't kill one yet. What are you talking about? No. If it's that way, no. I don't know what you're saying, but no. So, if, if you're Look, you might, I mean, if you're like this, you gotta just change the angle. You may have to get down like this to, to change the angle. If my cheek is on this barrel right on the stock right here, I can hardly move it that my, that I don't go, everything doesn't stay in line. If I'm up like this, it's never in line. You know, but if I'm down there on my gun, it'll always be in line. But now, yeah, you have to get that on your, Shoulder right there. Yeah, it should be kind of in between My that shoulder. bone right here. There, this is all bone. Feel that little cup right there, though. So Kaylee was over it, but Lawson took over the 20 gauge, and there's two in the tree. He picks the one on the left, and he gets it sitting still. Then as they're going away, I shoot under this one to the right and then behind it on the second shot well thanks for watching guys hope you enjoy the video i just want to mention my shirt i had on it's duck camp is the brand of they have a neat little website kind of a startup company a few years ago i bumped into the guys at a shooting expo and super nice folks and uh, great 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 shirts 